Hey guys, it's, uh, it's me again, and today I have a big Blu-ray surprise. And another thing, uh, a KRZ, I'm sorry, I still don't know how to pronounce your name. He's a good friend of mine on YouTube, and he may let me into this new channel I think he's doing, uh, called Striker Gaming. You know, uh, sorry, I, he just sent me the message, so, uh, uh, I'm not, it's got, it's Striker Gaming, I think. Anyway, um, I'd like to quickly get into this Blu-ray surprise, but first I need to really give you an introduction to what it is. It's something I've been wanting for years now. Uh, I'll just tell you what it has to do with. It has to do with Star Trek. Uh, I'm nerdy, I know. Um, for the last two years, I've been asking my mom, why don't we have Star Trek 2, 3, and 4 on Blu-ray? And this is for two years I've been asking for those. And it was just today that uh, my mom's boyfriend, Ron, got me this. Uh, and just in case you can see there, that's the six movies with the original cast. And then after that, they did Star Trek Generations, which was a pretty good film. And I haven't seen any of these on Blu-ray yet, so I'm interested to see what that, what they're, how they're going to look. Um... I'll just pull out one. Uh, I'll just pull out the Blu-rays, and I'm going to talk about one serious complaint I have with these. Okay. So, first of all, it comes with Star Trek: The Captain's Summit. I have no idea what that is. Uh, but it looks like it's just interviews with the cast members. So, that's cool. And but check this out. I'm going to start with Star Trek Six here. Okay, white cover. Okay, that's all right. But then when you look at the next one, wait. It, it's it's one of those things where the guy, where the manufacturers or whoever was in charge decided to make all the movies have white covers. And all the back, all the backs of the movies are all pretty similar, with like three people on them and uh, like the Enterprise or whatever. And, uh, I hate it when they do that. So, it's, so it starts with Star Trek, the motion picture, which most people are not too big fan, uh, too much of a big fan of, because it pretty much tries to copy 2001 Space Odyssey in a weird way, by very little dialogue and LSD moments. Well, it's got, it's got quite a bit of dialogue, it's hard to explain. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, which is the sequel to the episode Space Seed of of, uh, of the Star Trek original uh, show. And in Space Seed, it was about Khan, who gets uh, a, who was found by Kirk. And um, Khan tries to take over the Enterprise. Kirk defeats him. You know the rest. And, if you, and I think we all know Wrath of Khan. Uh, let's see... Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. I'm not gonna go into spoilers with this, but basically, uh, they're trying to find Spock's soul, and it's in McCoy. And they're also trying to find Spock's body, which was, uh, which is it on the Genesis planet, which was a planet that was originally destroyed, revived, and in accelerated growth, Spock is still is growing, but he's but they find him as a teenager, but he's still growing at an accelerated rate. Star, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. It's about, uh... To tell you the truth, it's really confusing. It's about, like, a big... Okay, to tell you the truth, it, it, I, I don't know why I keep saying to tell you the truth. It's basically about a spaceship with a disco ball that's trying to communicate with whales, but whales are extinct in the 23rd century, so the uh, so the crew must go back to the twentieth century to get whales, so the aliens can have their conversation with whales. But actually, Star Trek Four is pretty good. Don't let the storyline throw you off. Um, Star Trek Five just sucks, and Star Trek Six is okay. And yeah, that's uh, that's what that's what I got. And just I think that wraps it about up. It, oh, and sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, school started and I, man, it 
it's just been keeping me pretty busy. So I apologize for that. And uh, if Garzy is going to, or Crazy, I think that's how he you say his name. If he's going to let me be in that Striker Gaming thing, that would do wonders for this channel. And that would be really cool. So, uh, yeah. And that was the Blu-ray surprise. Live, which is 